Hey guys, Kev here, and it's time for a full review on the Kubi Knives Pike. So this is the KB2103A. Uh, I believe it's designed by Parson Bladeworks, something like that. Um... I did not look into all that stuff. Apologies. Um, this is in CPM 20 CV. And I actually bought this knife to review and as market research for Devo knives. So I talked about this in the unboxing, but we have a prototype, the Devo knives mash that we are doing with Kubi. As of right now, we're doing it with Kubi. We're trying to get them to dial in a version two prototype. If I'm being honest, it's been a struggle. Um, so anyway, currently this model is in prototyping with, uh, Kubi and, uh, it has a steel liner lock on titanium scales. And that's why I wanted to get this just to see how that performed on a final production version for them. And, uh, I gotta say it works really well. I have no gripes with it. Um, just want to make sure it is steel. Yep. Um, obviously titanium there so that's what we wanted to see because we wanted a titanium liner with an insert but they said they'd have to make the knife a lot thicker to do that we don't want the knife thicker and if you do titanium without an insert you're going to end up with a carbonized lock face and you're going to end up with a bunch of models that have lock stick and it's just not worth it in my opinion i know some people get hung up on a knife costing however much with a steel lock bar in there but it is what it is. You're still getting titanium. You're still getting M390 or whatever the steel may be on our model, right? Um, anyway, so this is in 20 CV steel, steel liner lock. You can see it's just a liner in there and on one side, no liner on the other side. Then you have titanium scales, backspacer, clip, uh, hardware, I believe is titanium. Yeah, it is titanium, of course, and 20 CV blade. I think it's a great build. Now, this knife goes for $160 from White Mountain Knives. Go check them out. You can use my code LEFTY10 at checkout. Shout out to Justin over there at White Mountain Knives. Great dude. Uh, pleasure to work with. And um, the price is really good on this. So uh, let's get into the review. So aesthetically, I think it's a really good looking knife. I got to say it's a sexy knife. Um, I, I don't love the bead blast, but, you know, it works with the frame. A uh, nice bead blasted frame with this cool milling pattern and the anno. That milling pattern really sets this knife off, in my opinion. Um, aesthetically closed, looks pretty good. You got that front flipper kind of a little bit hanging out there. It's not my favorite look, of course, but when open, she looks purdy. Uh, really good, like I said, on this milling pattern all around. Just looks really clean. They did a great job on this. Um, I got to say, Kubi did a really good job on this knife dead centered i mean you got that sort of airflow backspacer i really like that but it is capped off back here uh they i don't know what it is about kubi but they love to have a wraparound backspacer on this knife it looks fine and it looks like the blade to handle ratio is good um but they tend to do that and it's a little bit frustrating you can see here um i think part of it was because of the way we mounted this clip um but it just did not need to be this big of a gap between the the tip and the end of the the frame you know um and that's something they like to do i guess i don't know wrap around is their style um so anyway uh that's aesthetics ergos are good um for a knife this size i mean i get four fingers on there if i hold it like this and can't really complain now is this going to be the most ergonomic knife no it's just small it's thin right but for everyday edc type tasks i think this is perfectly fine you can hold it like this and cut through stuff uh, you can hold it in a pinch grip easily get to that tip cut through stuff um, this isn't going to be a hard use knife anyway look at it so um you know uh ergos carry uh, for me, I enjoyed the carry. The, this clip is good. This clip works really well. 
uh, pops in a pocket, pops out of pocket. The I was a little concerned the milling would be a little bit of an issue, and it does drag a little bit, but it's not as big of a deal as I suspected it would be. Um, it works really well, and I think that's because of the clearance on the clip. They gave you enough clearance to not just be rubbing against that uh milling all the time if that makes sense um so the clip is good the carry's good it's pretty deep honestly for a 3d milled clip i think it's really deep very thin handle at the end so you don't have a lot sticking out it's very lightweight i mean for its size uh, which is not very big but it's all milled out in there on the one side on the show side here and of course it's milled out to to take the liner on the other side and you just have a thin, lightweight knife, so it's not going to, you know, weigh you down or anything in pocket. Carry, in my opinion, is good. Obviously, it's not reversible. Uh, cutting. So this is where I didn't do much cutting with this. Um, I just didn't need to when I had it in pocket. And um, I did cut some shipping labels, and I opened a package or two, which is pretty much what I do. I didn't cut any cardboard or anything. Um... Uh, but anyway, you can kind of use this uh, tip that sort of drops down a little bit. It's very useful in the utility cutting for shipping labels and such. Uh, you do have a pretty dainty tip there. Now, the thing I don't love about it is the control, you know? The control isn't fantastic. I kind of was sliding around when I was going for it, so... Um, that's the only thing I'd say is when you're going through those sort of shipping label type uh, detail cuts, I guess I'm just not that close to the tip that I'm not able to control it as well, but I was kind of like slicing around a little bit. Um, not a huge deal. Um, it still worked great. Uh, so just want to put that out there. It's 20 CB. It has a flat grind, a relatively short blade, not super thick, has a crown spine, which is nice. Um, yeah, it's crowned, right? Yeah. Uh, it's pretty thin behind the edge. I mean, I think it's going to do all of your EDC stuff, no problem. And again, does not look like a, a hard-use knife, does it? Um, carry. Oh, sounds. So here are the sounds. Nah, it's not really giving me any pleasure or anything on the sounds, but it's good, right? It's good. Um, it's satisfying is what I'd say. Uh, so I'd give it like a 6 out of 10. Uh, fidget factor and action. So here's the thing. It's fun. It's a good knife. You got that front flipper, pops out. You know, uh, the detent is dialed, in my opinion, really well for this knife. Now, you can see here, I, I struggle with it a little bit, right? Um, I struggle with it a little bit. But it's, I think, the size of the knife. It's thin and it's small. And for me, with my large glove-sized hand, they're not huge. They're just large glove-sized hands. Do you know what I mean? Large glove-sized hands means I have large glove-sized hands. Does not mean I have large, massive hands. Just have large glove-sized hands. Um, sorry. So, you know, I can kind of get too far over the handle or I just, I don't know. I get a little grippy with it. But once I, you know, get in a groove with it, it's really fun, guys. This flipper tab catches really well. It flies out of there. Um, the action, I mean, look at it drop and then shake down. I accept that all day. You can reverse flick this. As you just saw, you just catch it on the edge of the grind and flick it out. It's not the best, uh, but I can consistently do it. So I think people with smaller hands would probably love to uh, fill around with this knife. Uh, the lock bar is not the best. The access to the lock bar is not that great. And I feel like I'm jamming the tip of my finger in there to get it. You can see my disgusting thumbs. I've been using that Nutri Nail bullet proof shit to try to just protect me because I cracked my nail again. So um, we'll see how long I do that for, but uh, it was better than super glue, but it's kind of starting to look a little yellow. <laughs> Don't worry, nothing wrong with my nails. It's just the shit I'm putting on it to protect them. Uh, ow, damn, that thing just whipped and hit me. Um, yeah, it's good. 
it's it's fun it's fidgety um, i don't like it does feel like the blade is sort of out in front of the handle i've talked about this before i love the mini tempest because of how just flush that flipper tab is with the handle it never feels like you're not gonna get it if that makes sense where this sometimes i'm like yeah do i have it i don't know still works great really no issue but just something to mention of course uh yeah the lock bar access is not great it does have a little chamfer here but it needs to either be cut back more or have a little bit of jimping or something i just feel like i'm using the corner of my finger now once you get used to it you can kind of hit the bottom of it like right here and do that but then you got to watch out for that blade so you can kind of do this move and i don't know it works fine it's just one thing I'd mention about the knife is lock bar access isn't fantastic. Uh, overall, guys, this knife is, I mean, if you like the looks of it and you're a front flipper guy, wow. I, I highly recommend this knife. It's lightweight. It's got a good blade on it, good steel, good material, 160 bucks. Use my code LEFTY10. You can get $16 off that. Um, I mean, and free shipping. I mean, shit, $144 in free shipping in the U.S. for this? I mean, it's hard to beat that stuff, guys. 20 CV, mill titanium. Like, this is a good-ass knife for that price. So, check it out. That's the Kubi Pike. I'm going to get this off to my bro, Colin, and uh, let the market research continue. <laughs> And uh, I love you guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And uh, if it is Parson Bladeworks, I believe, or somebody let me know in the comments. I can try to link the designer. Uh, I just didn't have time to, to look into it, really. Um, but a great design. I think it's the guy who designed the Barracuda, right? Um, and that guy's killing it. I kind of want to try that one, honestly. So, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.